be fluff. Hi, Yarnabees. How are you today? Today, I wanted to show you a little something that I made. Um, you may see have seen it on Instagram. Uh, my members will have seen it already. And yeah, so I'm <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about it, but I don't know. I, I want I remember I was telling you it was I was gonna do a dragon. Well she's not really a dragon. I don't know exactly what she is, but she's a forest creature, a forest guardian, excuse me. Um the pattern is it's called Forest Guardian and it's by Squishy Stitch. Now this is what their hers looks like. Now this is a really bad picture because my printer did not want to print for some reason. Um, the the colors and everything uh, so but you can see like there's no facial features at all and I was a little bothered by that now if you look at there I guess this is her testers or something but I'll, I'll leave her in her um, Etsy down below um, they did other types, but still no facial features. So I, when I started doing this up, I, I kept looking at it and looking at it going, I don't feel right about that. Like, I really think that it needs facial features. And then I decided it's going to be a girl. So um, I did something I'd never done before. I put eyelids on her, um, which I thought was kind of interesting. And I gave her a nose and mouth. And a few other things. In the pattern, um, the toes, the little toe beans, um, they did a pico stitch. I did a bobble stitch because I think it looks better. It, it pronunci pronunciates? No. Accentuates <laughs> uh, the toes. And the fingers so I did that and then I had to put clothes on her because you know but she is a woodland creature like so I don't I don't know so here's mine <laughs> here's the tail so I don't know what do you guys think <laughs> so there's oops there's the eyebrow or the eyelids um, and then her mouth and face, her mouth, mouth and nose. I put a rose on her. Um, and then I gave her, I, I made her a little jacket. Because, you know, out in the forest, it gets kind of cold. So, and then I put some rhinestone gems around here. And I put some on her coat. And so there's her little toe beans. Right. So, yeah. So, her tail should have been longer, but I wasn't exactly sure what, when I, as I was doing it, I wasn't entirely sure about the proportions because her head seemed to be bigger than the body. The hole on the head was way bigger than the body. The body, the head, when you finished it, you didn't finish it off. The, the body was like this and the head hole was like this. So I was going, how the heck do I do that? So I just pushed the, the cone part of the body up into the head and then pulled the head down and stitched it along. Um, and it's sturdy, like it's not going anywhere, right? Like it's, it's on there. It's not going to have wobble head or anything. So that part I, I liked. Um, the tail, oops, the tail, the base of the tail is quite wide which again, I really liked because it gave kind of a seamless look to it. Like it was really attached. Like it's, it's like real on the body. So that was cool. But when I did it, the head just seemed so much bigger than the body that I thought, well, did I mess it up? Like, did I, did I really screw that up or what? But I thought, no, I'm just going to keep going, trust the process, whatever. Um, so I only did like half the size of the tail. The tail should have been twice as long as this. Um, 
so I think next time I will do a longer tail. But it's kind of cool because when you wrap the tail around and you, she'll actually stand up on her own. Mm, I've got too much stuff behind me to show you. But she actually stands up. So that was neat. Um, but yeah, she's she looks kind of half dragon, half rabbit. I don't know. Uh, but she's a woodland creature. So I don't know. I, I, do you think she's cute? Like, what do you guys think? I don't know. I think the eyebrows are really, or the eyelids are really cute. I like how it gives you the sleepy eye look. You know, it gives character. It really does. So, yeah. Um, the next one I may put hair on. I don't, you know, that curly hair like I did on the mermaid? That might be cute. So, yeah. So, anyway. I don't know. What do you think? Yes? Um, so, yeah. I'm going to keep, I'm going to put the uh, pattern down below. And, yeah. I, I'm kind of happy with it. <laughs> I, it's, it's something different. Like, I've, I've never done anything like this before. So, I, I think I had a little bit of fun with it. <laughs> I'm doing what my mom normally would do. My mom would like put, put, put pants and everything else on, on this little guy. Um, so, yeah. I don't know. Maybe I should put a dress on her. But, <laughs> so anyway. Um, yeah. So I, what am I doing? What am I doing now? That's it. I, I have to go and finish some orders now. I spent all day working on this. It is raining like you wouldn't believe. It's been raining all day long. Ugh. Oh well. Almost time to start the fireplace, I guess. We're going to be starting it early. Uh, thank goodness we got four cords of wood. We, George was sitting there going, oh my God, there's so much wood. I says, we've never gotten four cords before. We've only gotten three. So he says, well, we're going to have lots of wood for this winter. And I'm looking outside and I'm thinking that's probably a good thing because, um, yeah, it was, uh, I think it's going to be a, a nasty winter. But it is what it is. Okay. I'm going to go and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> okay. Bye. Hey, you're in a bees. So, <clears throat> it's nighttime. It's almost 11 o'clock. Oh, excuse me. I've been up since 5.30 in the morning. Um, so, I got, I don't know if I told you this or not. I got um, commissioned by a friend. I think I told you. My friend to do um what are they called dash do, dash hounds um two dash hounds I've never done that before in my life <laughs> and not only am I doing two dash hounds I have to do the color changing for these dash hounds to make them actually look like the um, the colors of the real dash hounds. Oh, excuse me. Okay, let me back up a little bit. My friend wants these as gifts for another friend who has these two dash hounds. And they're coloring is so unique to them. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do this. I've never done like a lot of color changing in a plushie before. So anyways, I bought the pattern and I don't even know what the pattern is. Hang on. Okay, the pattern is by Who's the pattern by? 
It doesn't say. Um. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Hold that thought. Okay. <laughs> I'm tired. Okay, so the pattern is by Cute Knit Patterns, which is kind of weird because it's crochet pattern, but whatever, um, on Etsy. And I'll show you what it's supposed to look like. Okay, so that's what it's supposed to look like. And, oops, oh, oops. Hang on, where's the... No, that's not it. So, yeah. So that's what it's supposed to look like. Okay. Now, the dash hounds that I'm replicating or trying to look like this. Okay, so this one has like brown here and there's a brown spot here which I couldn't do on the body. And then these are black-ish, black brown. Um, and the body's white. And then the other one looks like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so So as you can see, this is black, browns, like, oh man, this one won't be as hard as the other one, I don't think, but yeah. So I'm doing the white one first, and here, oops, let me you guys sorry I look like crap and I'm just kind of sitting here trying to deal with this I can't do any more today I can't function I can't do the head part right now because there's too many color changes and I can't I can't think anymore so this is the body I'm assuming that this part is the chest and this is the neck part, but <laughs> yeah, and I guess the back legs go here or something, the front legs will go here, so, oh, and I'm dropping it. Um, <clears throat> I am using Sweet Snuggles, uh, no, I'm not, I'm using Chenille Home Slim, <clears throat> so I've got the white. And then I got this color, and this is, oh, what is this? Oh, it doesn't give a name. It's just CHS, no, CH519. It's like a mustardy color. And then I got black, and I got a, I got the, the chicken color. Yeah, the one that you do the chicken nuggets, the brown. So I got that one. And then I got a beige color. But I was thinking about doing this. This kind of color. It looks yeah, more yellow. <clears throat> more yellow in the camera, but it's like a darker gold color. I was thinking about doing this for the eye part. But now I'm looking at it and I'm not sure. Oh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Now I'm looking at it and I'm going in. I don't know if that's going to work. <clears throat> but anyway. Oh. Oh, excuse me. But anyways, I'm going to go to bed. <coughs> Because I am really tired. So. Oh, I should show you another pattern that I got. 
<clears throat> this pattern's actually kind of funny. Okay, so <laughs> I saw this and I thought I have to get it. <laughs> it's kind of funny. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Oh, where's my cursor? Isn't that adorable? So I thought that I would make a few of these just for the hell of it because, you know, Halloween's coming up. So I thought maybe, <clears throat> maybe I could do that. This is by the Twisted Hatter. She's got some amazing patterns. Like, amazing. Um, like, look at these patterns. Like, holy cow. She's got an Instagram that will blow your mind. Like, she puts a lot of, um, she puts onto her Instagram, um, these little reels that just, the makeup and everything, the costume work for this, um, for this girl is just amazing. But anyway, <clears throat> all right, I'm going to go to bed and, uh, see, yeah, see if I can figure this out tomorrow. <gasps> oh, <sighs> all right, I'm going to bed. Get back. <laughs>